Thanks for your interest in international tax course videos. If you like to purchase the entire course, click the link in the description. If you're watching this on mobile, you can click the downward arrow here and it will show you the link to purchase the entire course. Now let us compare how does the provision of the Act, the OECD and the UN model fare insofar as the definitions are concerned. Under the Act, transfer of all or any rights including granting of a royal license in respect of patent, invention, model, etc., etc., are covered. However, there are no such corresponding provision in either the OECD or the UN model. What this means is that if even if such payment is taxable under the Income Tax Act, if the treaty that we are looking at has provisions which are similar to these two models or these provisions are absent then you can always take the benefit of the treaty to say that payments for the transfer of the following rights should not be construed as royalty or FIS as the case may be. The transfer of all or any rights including granting of a license in respect of any copyright, literary, artistic or scientific work including films or videotapes for use in connection with television or tapes for use in connection with radio broadcasting but not including the consideration for the sale, distribution or exhibition of cinematographic films. Again, these provisions are missing in both the OECD and the UN model. Use of any patent or the invention, model, design, secret formula or process or trademark or similar property. Right? Similar provisions are there in both the OECD and the UN model. It also contains provisions for plan. This word plan is in addition to what you already have under the act over here. Use or right to use any industrial, commercial or scientific equipment but not including the amounts referred to in section 44 double B. There are no corresponding provision in the OECD model but in the UN model the use or the right to use industrial, commercial or scientific equipment are included. So what this means is if there's a treaty on line of OECD model these payments would not be amounting to royalty. As against this, if it is based on the UN model, then these payments would be considered as royalty. Imparting of any information concerning the working of or the use of a patent invention model, design secret formula or process or trademark or similar property. Again, there are no corresponding provisions under both these treaties. It's not necessary that if these provisions are missing in these two treaties, it may not be there in the treaty that you are looking at. You need to compare on a word to word basis to see which one of these are covered in the act and which are covered in the treaty. The imparting of any information concerning technical, industrial, commercial or scientific knowledge, experience or skill. Again, imparting information concerning industrial, commercial or scientific experience is covered here and same is with the UN model as well. So you should always look at comparing which provisions are there in the Act, which are there in the treaty. If both of places have the same provision, amount is taxable. If it is missing in the treaty, then you need to see whether a stand on non-taxability can be taken. That would depend on whether you know, it is a case where a payment is not covered here, which means you might have to go to the Article 7 or Article 21. Or is it that while the nature of payment is covered in the treaty, but the conditions to tax it as FTS or royalty are missing? In that case, you can take a stand that such a payment is not taxable.